You think your clock's broken? The Romans used dripping water to measure time. They divided the day into 12 hours, but only from sunrise to sunset. So in winter, one hour could last 45 minutes. In summer, up to 75. Time literally stretched and shrank with the sun. They used sundials, often made from stone or bronze. But many were copied from Greek or Egyptian models and weren't even adjusted for Roman latitude. That meant inaccurate time, especially if someone forgot to realign it with the equinox. And on cloudy days, no shadow, no dial, no time at all. At night, they relied on clepsydras, early water clocks. A calibrated pot would drip slowly into another vessel. Once full, time was up. It worked, sort of. Cold weather slowed the drip. Heat sped it up. The clocks were wildly inconsistent, but better than nothing. Even legal speeches and court trials were timed with clepsydras. Water starts, you talk. It runs out, you stop. No debate, no overtime. In some regions, marked clepsydras showed nighttime hours in increments, usually for officials or military use. They weren't portable and rarely precise. They didn't track time. They wrestled with it. 